Hey everybody, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take an iPad that no matter what you try to do just does not work and we're going to restore it back to factory settings and re-download the city's, the Department of Education's image of the iPad onto it. So this means that you've already tried turning Wi-Fi off, canceling the, the CrowdStrike app download, which is the little red icon that has like what looks like an eagle on it, that right there. You have tried turning airplane mode on for about 15, 30 seconds or so, off, and then on again. You've tried to open the Zscaler app, prioritize the download, cancel the download. You've done everything, and it's just stuck. So imagine it just everything's grayed out. You've tried everything we've tried to do, and just nothing works. You're going to erase all content and settings. So this is how you go about doing that. So step one is you're going to open settings, which I'm about to do. I just want to make sure this is the right one. Yes, it is. Here we go. Got a lot of these iPads I'm working on today. So don't want to reset the wrong iPad. That would be terrible. So settings. Step one is go to settings. Step two tap on general. Step three, tap on reset. Step four, tap erase all content and settings. Erase all content and settings. Step five, click erase. Step six, it's going to ask again, are you sure you want to erase? Absolutely sure. Positive. Step seven, we are going to just wait and wait some more and the iPad is going to reset. It's not going to take long. I actually want to show how long this process takes because it's surprisingly very quick. In like an hour-ish from beginning to end, including downloading everything, this can be done. And I'm just finding this is a very, very fast way of resetting an iPad if you're just troubleshooting and having all sorts of issues. Sometimes it's not even worth going through the whole process. Just reset and get it going again. So we're waiting for the Apple logo to go. And at that point, it'll be like a new iPad and we'll set it up. And even with narration, we're at three minutes right now. I think about five-ish minutes in will be where we need to be. This will also work for families, not just for schools. Just the only difference is going to be if you have Wi-Fi at home, you would connect to Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, then you would connect to the cellular data. And if you're in the school, then you will connect to the NCPSP network. And if you're doing this in a school, I don't need to tell you what your password is for that network because you already know it. So let's get this thing going. This is actually another one here that's already going through the process and slowly updating everything. A couple minutes ahead. All right, there we go. So we're four minutes into the video with the narration. So this took about three minutes in reality. So I'm going to be like, okay, let's turn this guy on. Hit the home button. I'm choosing English, United States, set up manually. Now I'm going to log into our network. I'm choosing NCPSP because that's what we do in the Department of Education. I'm going to type the password and real I'm quick. going to click join. It is connected, so I'm going to click next. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. It really isn't going to take that long. So at most, it'll take maybe two-ish minutes. 
and basically what's going to happen is the iPad is going to activate and configure and then there's going to be a screen that will say remote management which just happened beautiful eventually here we go it's going to say next we're going to click next in the upper right hand corner and we'll see a message saying installing configuration from the New York City Department of Education beautiful and this process is going to take maybe 40 ish minutes very nice now it's downloading everything so my one tip is as soon as we see the zscaler icon which is this one right there we're going to click it and we're going to prioritize that download because internet gets messed up without zscaler so you're going to see it's just going to keep rolling out these apps one at a time i'm just waiting to see zscaler and right now we're about six and a half minutes in so not bad. Once I prioritize that Zscaler download, I will click it, it will connect, and as soon as it's connected, I basically just leave this iPad plugged in, connect it to Wi-Fi or cellular, if you don't have cellular, which everything will happen automatically, provided you did these steps the way that I showed you. And in about 30, 40 minutes, everything will be downloaded, and then it's just a matter of signing into everything, Google Classroom, Zoom, Meets, and Teams, one at a time. Just waiting for Zscaler to pop up. Let's see how this one's doing over here. Yeah, this one's going great. You can see it's still downloading a couple of apps. Teams is downloading, very nice. We're about eight minutes in now. Google Classroom is downloading. Also very good. Very, very good. CrowdStrike is downloading. Excellent. That's the remote control. That's so DIIT Help Desk can access and help you out remotely. Just waiting for that Zscaler. Zoom is there now. There we go. Zscaler, 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Hold it and prioritize. Excellent. Okay, at that point, there we go. That's what we want. This is where the magic happens, right here. So when Zscaler is now fully loaded, which it's about to be, because I was quick, I didn't start letting everything else download. I just popped up, prioritize download, instantly he's doing it. I will click it, it will log in. And you see right here, it just has that Wi-Fi logo. Wi-Fi cellular over there. But you can see this guy over here has the VPN, virtual proxy network. That is from Zscaler. That's what we need to make all this work. So now Zscaler is here, boom. Automatically logs in, you don't have to do anything. All I did was click on Zscaler. going to angle it this way because I don't want to show personal DOE info. You actually shouldn't have to log in at all so I'm going to X that out. It shouldn't have prompted me to do that. Let me try again. Quick Z scaler again. Just angling it down so that if student information pops up we don't see it. still prompting for all this. I am not going to do it. I'm just going to exit out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit settings and then I'm going to click on airplane mode. I'm going to wait maybe like 15 or so seconds. Anytime weird stuff happens with Wi-Fi, it's good to go to settings, go to airplane mode, 30 seconds or so, keep it on, turn it off open it back up. It fixes a lot of issues. So let's see if that worked. You'll see it will get to the Wi-Fi again. It's on. Let's see if Zscaler works like normal now.
intentionally angling it down so we don't see student info. Registering device, boom. Airplane worked. Airplane mode always works. Except for when it doesn't. Haha. <laughs> okay. So we want going. Now that we got that, see how VPN is on? Now it's just a waiting game. Everything will slowly come to life. You just leave this plugged in. Make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi or cellular, ideally Wi-Fi if you have it. And it's just a matter of time. This will fully download everything the same way this one has. And then eventually you'll want to go into Google Classroom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom, and one at a time log in with the student credentials. I like to uncheck sign up for emails about classroom feature updates, get started. And if you've watched my previous video about setting up a new iPad, same exact deal. So now one by one, I'd set this up. So that is it. And this iPad was basically a brick. It was not working too well and is coming back to life. It's been 13 minutes. And like I said, 30, 40 minutes, something like that. Everything will be back here. And then we'll just go one at a time and we'll log in with the user credentials. We'll do classroom, hangouts, teams, and Zoom. And that's it. Have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, message me on Twitter. If you work for the Department of Education, feel free to reach out via email or via Teams. Have a great day, everybody. Hope that helped. Bye. Mr. Kamer signing off from PS169, New York City Department of Education. Adios.